Check the assembly order of each guide rail with a corresponding parts list. It is very important to assemble them in the correct order. Mount the deflector sheave assembly on the top rails. When fastening the top rails, ensure that the upper ends of the top rails contact with the deflector sheave assembly and the top rails are positioned perpendicular to the deflector sheave assembly. When connecting the guide rails, ensure that there is no gap between the guide rails. Use the rail suspension jig when there is no room in the overhead to hoist the guide rails and also to adjust the dimension between the guide rails. Use the rail suspension jig before connecting the bottom rails. Confirm that the deflector sheave assembly is horizontal using a level. Adjust the height of the rail mounting bases until the deflector sheave assembly levels out. When mounting the rail brackets, ensure that the brackets are horizontal and adjust the dimensions between the rail brackets and the whole reference line. When fastening the guide rails to the shaft balls, use plumb bumps or piano wires to align the guide rails perpendicular in the horizontal and front and back directions. Confirm that the machine beam frame is horizontal using a level. When there is a possibility of water leak within the shaft, use chemical anchor bolts to fasten the machine beam and the rail mounting bases. Fasten the pit equipment using a total of 6 anchor bolts.
Set the hoisting ropes on the deflector sheets before removing the hooding and the zip ladder. Fasten the rope retaining bolts when the hoisting ropes have been set on the deflector sheets. Install a messenger wire to prevent the traveling cable from swinging around. When installing the seal bracket, check the dimensions between the bracket and the guide rails and at the same time, consider the floor height of the entrance. Do not forget to mount the bolts to reinforce the whole seal. Always use fingers to insert the bolts so that the whole seal will not be damaged. When installing the entrance unit, align the position of each unit and ensure that the unit is perpendicular in the horizontal and front and back directions. Mount the machine beam so that the upper surface of the machine beam is flush with the upper surface of the machine beam frame. Use a steel plate of 5mm in thickness to adjust the clearance between the guide rail and the clamp. When fastening the safety gear to the guide rails, align the fastening position to make the safety gear completely horizontal. When installing the upright pillars, ensure that the pillars are perpendicular to the floor in the front to back and right to left directions.
install the upper beam so that there is no gap between the upright pillars and the upper beam.